In previous videos, I've already shown you how to work tapestry crochet technique in different ways. In this clip, I will show you the steps to make this sample made with tapestry crochet back and forth with single crochets. It will be different from working in the round because we have to turn our work every time we want to start a new row. To start, make 31 chains. And starting in second chain from the hook, make 30 single crochets. And this is the end of row 1 with 30 stitches. If you're using a system to separate colors, it's important that you place your yarn before you start. For this sample, I'm using ball holders. That's where I pulled my yellow strand to start and my blue yarn is also ready to start row 2. To start row 2, turn the work and we will start using the contrasting color strand. Chain 1 and start with the first single crochet of the row. Insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch and before closing take the blue yarn. and place it between the hook and the working yarn, just letting it lay over the stitches of last row and leaving a 10 cm long strand at the beginning. Yarn over and close the first single crochet with the second color wrapped inside from the front and back of our work. and continue with the next single crochet. Insert the hook in the stitch, going under, blue yarn, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, and close. And the second stitch with the blue yarn wrapped inside from the front and the back of our work is finished. And continue with 28 single crochets more for a total of 30 stitches with the blue yarn wrapped inside. For this row, we will only practice wrapping the second color without making color changes. Just as with the other variations of tapestry crochet, it won't be necessary to pull or loosen the second color. Just continue crocheting as you usually do, but now wrapping a new color in between the stitches. Finish the last single crochet of the row. And this is the end of row 2 with 30 stitches wrapping a second color. To start row 3, turn the work, chain 1, lift the second color yarn, preparing to wrap it from the first stitch. Insert the hook in first stitch, going under the blue yarn. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, and close. And the first single crochet with the second color wrapped inside from the front and back of our work is finished. And we also lifted the blue yarn from the second to the third row. In this row, we will start with color changes, making a sequence of three single crochets in yellow and two single crochets in blue. So I make the second single crochet with yellow, and then start with the third one. 
insert the hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and before closing I will change to glue. I drop the working yarn, lift the blue yarn from its source, yarn over and close. And continue with two single crochets in blue, now wrapping the yellow yarn. Insert the hook in next stitch, going under yellow yarn, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over and close. Now make the second single crochet with blue, insert the hook, going under the yellow yarn, pull through the stitch and switch to yellow once again. Drop the working yarn, lift the yellow yarn from its source, pulling down the blue yarn, yarn over and close. And my first sequence of three single crochets in yellow and two single crochets in blue is finished. Always wrapping one of the two colors in between the stitches and I continue repeating this sequence. Now from another perspective so you can see how I handle the yarn. Make three single crochets with yellow wrapping blue yarn. And before closing the third stitch, drop the working color, lift the blue yarn from its source, pulling down the yellow yarn, yarn over and close. And continue with two single crochets in blue, now wrapping the yellow yarn. And before closing the second stitch, drop the working color, lift the yellow yarn from its source, pulling down the blue yarn, yarn over and close. And the second sequence of three single crochets in yellow and two single crochets in blue is finished and the yarns return to their original position without getting tangled and I continue repeating this sequence for the whole row. I should end the row with the two single crochets in blue. And row 3 is finished with 30 stitches repeating the sequence of 3 single crochets in yellow and 2 single crochets in blue. To start row 4, turn the work chain one and lift the yellow yarn preparing to wrap it from the first stitch. We are working back and forth so for this row we will start on the opposite side of our color sequence. This means we will start with two single crochets in blue and then with three single crochets in yellow so that our striped drawing remains straight. After making the chain, insert the hook in the first stitch, going under the yellow yarn, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over and close. And the yellow yarn is wrapped in the first stitch from the front and the back of our work. And at the same time, we're lifting it from row 3 to row 4. And I continue with one more single crochet in blue. And before closing, I switch to yellow. I drop the working color. 
and lift the yellow yarn from its source, pulling down the blue yarn, yarn over and close and continue with three single crochets in yellow. And before closing the third stitch, I drop the yellow yarn, lift the blue yarn from its source pulling down the yellow yarn, yarn over and close. And I will repeat this sequence of two single crochets in blue and three single crochets in yellow for the whole row, always wrapping one of the two colors in between the stitches. We should end the row with three single crochets in yellow. And row 4 is finished with 30 stitches. Making a sequence of 2 single crochets in blue and 3 single crochets in yellow and repeating for the whole row. For row 5, turn the work and we will return to the first sequence of color of 3 single crochets in yellow and 2 single crochets in blue. Chain 1. Make the first single crochet with yellow, wrapping the blue yarn from the beginning and lifting it from row 4 to row 5. And we will have this edge with the blue yarn lifted every two rows. Continue with two more single crochets with yellow. And before closing the third stitch, switch to blue. And continue with two more single crochets in blue. And before closing the second stitch, switch to yellow. And repeat this sequence of three single crochets in yellow and two single crochets in blue for the whole row. And this is the end of round 5 with 30 stitches, repeating the sequence of 3 single crochets in yellow and 2 single crochets in blue once again. For row 6, turn the work, and now we will repeat the color sequence of 2 single crochets in blue and 3 single crochets in yellow to continue with the stripes. Chain 1. and make the first single crochet with blue, wrapping the yellow yarn from the beginning and lifting it from row 5 to row 6. We can now see this edge where we are lifting the yellow yarn every two rows. Continue with the second single crochet in blue, change to yellow before closing and continue with three single crochets in yellow and continue repeating this sequence for the whole row and continue alternating those two color sequences every two rows for several rows more. And this is the sample by the end of round 10, repeating those two rows, starting with yellow in one row and starting with blue in the next, to shape the stripes, and always wrapping one of the two colors according to the sequence, so they remain hidden on both sides of the work and also make a stronger fabric. I hope you like this other variant of tapestry crochet and that you can put it in practice.